Hello, everyone. I'm Ye Zhou Wang from McGill University. It's my great pleasure to introduce my work about long range functional connections, mirror and link, microarchitectural and cognitive hierarchies. One principle of the human brain is functional integration of large scale networks that realize through long range connections. Taking advantage of multimodal neural imaging data, we could construct brain networks. Although most of the connections in the brain network are short range, a small number of long range connections play a crucial role in integrating information. For example, a previous study found that there are rich club hubs connecting to more brain regions, which are, is important to the brain network. And another study found that rare long-range connections play a crucial role in significantly improving information processing and success probability. By the other hand, another principle of the human brain is functional segregation, which likely relates to variations in critical microarchitecture. For example, taking advantage of uh, new imaging data, such as myelin sensitive MI, we could approximately assess the patterns of myelination of the human brain. And from another example, we send open access ultra high resolution three dimensional modes of human cycle architecture, provide us uh, microstructural properties and considerable new anatomical insights into the human memory. In addition, uh, the gene expression data of human uh, of whole human brain has been constructed, provides us uh, molecular level insights into the brain organization. So, taking advantage of this multi-scale methods. In this work, we want to figure out how does long-range connectivity reflect critical microarchitecture. To figure out this question, we examine the human brain at multiple scales, including microarchitecture and macro-scale organization. In the main analysis, we studied 50 healthy unrelated adults. Our participants have quality control T1 MI, quantitative T1 MI, and resting cell fMI. We also study big brain. It's a three-dimensional human brain model based on reconstruction of historical sections. To validate our findings, we repeated our main analysis based on HCP data sites with 200 healthy adults. We first estimated connectivity distance coefficient, CDC, to represent a region's relationship to long and short range connections. First, we calculated connectivity distance by taking average of geodesic distance within functionally connected regions. Then, CDC is defined as the Pearson's correlation coefficients between a city region's functional connectivity and connectivity distance. So as a result in the CDC map, a region with higher value means that this region is more related to long range connectivity subnetwork and the regions with negative value means this region is more related to short range connectivity subnetwork. When stratifying the CDC uh, to an uh, atlas of functional zone, we found higher CDC in heteromodal network and the lowest CDC in ideotypic network. We also estimated the functional uh, principal gradient and found a significant correlation between functional gradient and the CDC. Then we assess the associations between long range connectivity and cognitive terms. We perform the meter analysis based on 24 cognitive terms from neuroscience, and we found that cognitive terms 
associated to long range connections involved in uh, social cognition and emotion functions. Well, short range uh, connections relate to multi sensory and auditory. Next, we assign the associations to local critical microarchitecture. Uh, for quantitative T1 relaxed symmetry, we've constructed several equivalent metric surfaces and sampled the intensity profiles of these surfaces. We cross correlated the nodal intensity profiles to generate the microstructure similarity metrics. And based on this metrics, we estimated the principal gradient find a um, significant correlation between QD1 gradient and CDC. For the big brain histology data, we also constructed several inhumanometric surfaces and, in, and simple the intensity profiles of these surfaces. But what is different as we have done for QT1, here we calculated skill needs of the nodal intensity profiles. Here, higher skill needs indicate a higher laminar differentiation. Uh, and as a result, we found that the big brain skill needs um, is negatively correlated with CDC. That, that means a uh, re brain region with uh, more related to long range connectivity some network is with lower laminar differentiation. To further explore the relationship between microarchitecture and the uh, long range connectivity, we studied the microstructure similarity matrix of QT1 and histology data. We found a significant characteristic relationship between microstructure similarity and the, and the CDC. That means long range functional connectivity links spatially distant but microarchitecturally similar cortical regions. An overarching mix effects model aggregating QT1 and the big brain confirmed a strong correcting effect. And finally, all these findings in the main analysis are reproduced and validated on HCP data set. So conclusions. Overall, these findings provide evidence for sensory focal topography of functional connectivity distance variations and show specially covering microarchitectural axes. Long range connections may allow for integration of specially remote, yet microarchitecturally similar areas of association cortex, and thus potentially contribute to parallel and higher order information processing that is central to human cognitions. Finally, I want to thank my lab and other funding resources. I want to thank all of my colleagues and collaborators. Thank you for listening.